Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel Wake Up Bright where I share all of the things that help me live each day a little brighter. I'm April Lauren and I'm on a journey to lose 200 pounds. I am about 70 pounds down, 130-ish pounds to go and I am so ready for 2022. 2021 has been, it's been a year. Lots of highs, lots of lows, lots of low lows and I want to share just a few of the awesome things that I experienced in 2021. Let's do it. In 2021, I actually, let me go back. At the beginning of my weight loss journey, I could not wear regular tennis shoes. They did not fit on my feet. I probably could have special ordered shoes. I had done so before when I was in physical therapy for my leg, but I didn't. I just didn't have any tennis shoes to wear. And I wore these like Sperry's like hiking shoes. They were pretty supportive and very comfortable. And they had like tennis shoe bottoms because they were for hiking and like going through water and stuff. But they were not tennis shoes. I I wasn't able to wear tennis shoes until a little in to 2021. And then I had to size up. So I sized up to a size 10. My feet measure in length about a seven and a half. I've always worn like eight, eight and a half. That's my go-to size. That's what I'm comfortable wearing. My newest pair of running shoes, walking shoes, have them for walking are hokas and they are eight and a half and they fit so comfortably and this may sound like such a small thing to most people but for me that is such a huge non-scale victory and something that I am grateful to have. Back to early 2021, while I'm not going into details about non-scale victories, I did start to press myself the beginning of 2021. At the beginning of 2021, walking a mile was still fairly difficult to me, for me. I didn't walk further than a mile on a regular basis and I did not do anything really for time except for that one mile, one time a month. And I did walk other times, but not regularly until I started doing 75 hard. So that's my next little win. I completed 75 hard and it was such a good experience. I made lots of videos. I do not recommend that you run out and start 75 hard, but 75 hard was what I needed and it was really good for me. I really enjoyed it. By the end, it was too much. Um, I was exhausted and it was that last probably 15, 20 days, like I wouldn't recommend 75 hard, um, but I'm proud of myself for having done it. And within 75 hard, I started walking so much. When I first started doing 75 hard, like one of my workouts always was walking. And I went from being having to walk my dogs one at a time to walking my dogs at the same time. And I just built up so much confidence and I slowly increased the amount of time walking really slowly. So the very first time I walked, I walked for 45 minutes and I kept increasing how far I was going. Like as I walked, I went further and further. And in March, I did my first three miles for a time. It took me a little over an hour, like 64 minutes. And I was very proud of that. Also, when I started 75 hard, I did my very first 10 miles. How fast can I do it? And it was a little over 30 minutes. Actually, I think I did that in December. So I think I did that before, but about a year ago. So very happy to have established non-scale points of measure. I sort of gamified fitness for myself and that was really powerful for me on my journey. And I'm so proud that I did that. And I can't wait to share my non-scale victory video with you this coming Wednesday. Walking, I kept increasing my walking and Finally, we moved in May. And when we moved, I started increasing and increasing and increasing how far I was walking. I was just curious. And I got to where I was able to consistently walk like five to seven miles. So seven miles is the furthest I walked, but I did it without any like excessive recovery time needed or like it was, I didn't have to stop. Um, 
Now I could stop, I did, I like moved cameras around sometimes and stuff like that, but seven miles is like, it's not a struggle for me. And that's amazing to me because when I started my weight loss journey, I couldn't walk in to a grocery store without pain. When I started 2021, walking one mile was difficult for me. And now I'll walk my dogs five miles. We walk so much all the time, me and my pups, and I'll walk my dogs five miles together. That's about their limit. Um, Chipper doesn't love walks. Chipper loves to run. She does not love to walk. Julio loves to walk and will go forever. Something else I did in 2021 is I developed more inner strength and self-confidence in my own inner voice, resisting the urge to, to rely on or need outside approval or accolades in any sort of way to know what was best for myself. And that is such a good feeling. It's such a good feeling to be able to affirm for myself that I'm in the right direction and to know for myself what's good and have faith in my in my gut and my instinct on what I need to be doing and when I need to be doing it. It's a very powerful thing. Also, in 2021, we moved from Missouri to North Carolina, which is about a thousand miles. And that's just a big life event for us. And then not only that, but my husband and I bought our first home together and we love it. We love where we live. We made the decision as a team. We've, it was, it, it was a relationship strengthening thing, making such a big decision. I would say while it's a far second, like getting, like choosing to get married to each other was a, like a, for sure, like way the most important thing that we've done. But the second most important thing I think that we've done together. So we are very blessed to have our home. We love it here. And I'm very excited. 2021 brought us a new home. Now in 2021, I only lost 40 pounds. And I say only, because I feel like 40 pounds is a lot. <laughs> to some, they may shirk at that or they may be appalled. Like how dare you only lose 40 pounds? To me, I am so excited. I have had lots of bumps in my road this year and I have not rolled back. I have not buried my head in the sand. I have not resorted to food or bad habits and I have lost and kept off a total of 70 pounds throughout my journey and 40 this calendar year and I know I'm going to lose more in 2022 and I cannot wait. One of the things I am most excited for 2022 actually started in 2021 and that is I decided that I was going to prepare to run a Spartan race. Now I may not be running this race competitively and yet I will be. It will be a me against me challenge and I am so excited for that and I got the courage and was cheered on by my husband to join a local gym that specializes in training for Spartan races. There's not a ton of these, but I'm so fortunate that there is one here. And Yanis, the owner of iFit Fayetteville, is just amazing and so encouraging. So not only did I start training for my first Spartan, but at Yanis's encouragement, I did my first ADECA, which is stands for decathlon. It's 10 events, and it was just like I said before, a me against me challenge. Finishing that was so powerful for me and I'm so excited to have done it and I'm excited for my next one coming up in a few weeks and just to progress and do better and do more. I'm so excited, I cannot wait. Another big life event and probably one of the things I'm most proud of and it kind of happened unexpectedly. I overheard a conversation at one of the places we do yoga and I started talking to the manager just because I was trying to suss out what I would need to do to sometime in the future be able to teach yoga there. So I already had a certification. I wanted to know what do I need to do to be able to teach yoga here? And I was thinking like way far down, way far down in the future. And she's like, she asked me a couple questions and she's like, I think you just need to go ahead and come in for an interview and we'll, you know, just see. And I'm like, no. And I ended up putting off the interview and coming in and talking to them for about three weeks. But then I did the audition and the interview and I started teaching yoga a couple times a week. Usually it's once a week. I have one regular class, but then I pick up 
shifts for people fairly regularly. And that has brought so much joy to my life. I know I've kept it to myself. I, I need to keep things for myself at times. And I think most of you guys respect that. I am so proud of myself for stepping out of my comfort zone and having, having the conversations. When I went to iFit, I didn't think I was going to go ahead and join and start preparing. I was scoping it out for the future. And thankfully people like Yanis, thankfully my manager where I teach yoga, pull people out of their comfort zone and they don't discriminate against what you currently look like. They they look at your ability and your drive and, and what, what you've prepared to do and, and then evaluate you accordingly. And teaching and being part of the community where I teach has been very powerful. And also working out at iFit has been very powerful for me. I wanna share those things specifically to encourage you no matter where you are in your life journey to go for things, have conversations with people. Even if you're scared and you're uncomfortable, most people are going to be kind to you and most people are feeling the same way you are. Maybe you don't wanna reach out to someone in uh, maybe a, a class that you're taking. Maybe you're taking Zumba and you don't have friends and you're like, I don't know how to make friends. Well, just start talking to someone, compliment them on their shoes and have like a little goal to talk to people. And as you network, people will encourage you. They will lift you up and help you power through your insecurities and your fears. They won't even do it intentionally. They don't even know that they're doing that at times, but they will, they'll help you. Community is very powerful. And community here on my YouTube channel is amazing and consistently posting and being able to have this as my profession is very meaningful and powerful and it's something I'm also very grateful for. In 2021, I sustained my YouTube channel and we've grown and it's just an amazing community. I love you guys so much and I'm so grateful for you, the love that you give each other, the love that you give me and encouragement. So excited for 2022. You are going to rule 2022 and I can't wait. I can't wait to to hear all about it and I can't wait to share my 2022 with you as well. Love you guys. Happy New Year.